it's Ray again and welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be doing my September favorites and a fall clothing haul, which honestly always one of my favorite videos to do every single year. Fall is by far and away my favorite season, both in spirit, both in entertainment, and also in clothing. I love sweaters, I love being cozy. Starting off the video, we're gonna start with the fall haul part. Uh, basically, I got a few new pieces for the season from my two favorite stores, Cezanne and Madewell. Madewell was having a huge sale, so the majority of the items I am gonna show off today are from Madewell. But jumping in first to accessories, ironically, not from either of those two stores, but from Amazon. I got this trio of velvet braided headbands. Headbands are, you know, continuing to be really fun uh, into the fall winter season, but I got these for $13.99. Um, there's a designer that does these and they're like over $400 and there's no way, no way I was going to shell out money, <laughs> that much money on a headband, but I really wanted to try out the trend. I figured three for under $20 was, you know, safe. And yeah, I'm curious to see if I'll have the confidence to wear these, but I think they're really pretty and I've just been loving seeing other people style them this season. So yeah, I got these. I'll try to find a link to them down below, but yeah. $13.99, not a bad deal. Moving on to the clothing portion. Um, the first section is dedicated to Madewell. The first is this olive velvet pinafore dress. I uh, have like a mustard overall situation that's like a skirt or all that I got last season. I wore it all the time. So what I saw kind of an olive version of this. This is definitely a pinafore, not overalls. I thought I would give it a try. I really like it. I think it's really fun. It's really easy. You can put a blouse underneath this or a t-shirt, tights, boots. It's just like one of my favorite things, type of things to wear during the fall season. Plus I love this deep olive color. I think it looks nice with my green eyes. <laughs> So I did get this and I'm a huge fan. Next up, I just stocked up on some of my favorite basics from Madewell. Um, basically, I picked up two sweaters and a flannel and that kind of rounds out everything I got. Oh, and this cardigan. So I guess the first thing I got is this plaid uh, cardigan. I have a thicker sweater coat cardigan that I got last year and I wear it every day in the office because my office is so cold. So when I saw kind of a checkered neutral version of it, I got really excited and thought it would look really nice to layer on top of like collared shirts like this for work with like an earring or even with like a t-shirt, just like a plain t-shirt to wear around the house or around outside in the world on the weekends, not during the office work day. Um, it's so soft and cozy. It'll be a great layering piece too. You can throw a coat over this really nicely. So this is actually Probably maybe my favorite thing I picked up. I love the checkered pattern. Next item I got was a flannel and it is this uh, classic checkered flannel with like orange and black. It's actually more of a square cut and a little cropped. I particularly liked this because I felt like I could wear it on its own as a flannel shirt, but also kind of like a like a jacket, like kind of a like over top of a t-shirt, but leave it unbuttoned because it's kind of where it cuts off on the jeans. It kind of has like a jacket look to it. So I've been wearing it like that and I really like it because it's still not super cold out. So I can definitely get away with this as my outerwear, if you will. So that's been one of my favorite ways to wear this, but I also just love the colors and flannel and plaid like that's never gonna change, so happy to have that. Moving on, the next sweater I got from Madewell is this. It is their cashmere waffle knit um, sweater, which I have in two striped patterns. I've had them for years. I wear them so much, so I figured going into the fall season, I wanted to invest in just a plain colored version, so I chose mustard. It's this kind of like really casual, easy to wear waffle knit texture. It's so soft. They um, wash and wear super easily. Again, I've had my other ones for years and years and years. Because of the higher quality natural fiber, they're also warmer. They just overall maintain their shape and quality a lot better too, I've found over the years. So I just wanted to get myself, because it was on sale as well, uh, just like a basic single color one. Um, and mustard is my favorite and it's the color I wear the most during the fall. So got grab that. And then the last thing I got from Madewell is a sweater as well. And it is this mustard and navy kind of large check sweater that I'm just absolutely obsessed with. This is just me in a sweater. It just looks like a fall harvest festival in a knit. Um, I love the darker color palette. Again, I love this kind of dark rusted, russet mustard color. It's kind of a thicker knit. It's really warm, great to layer, um, and I'm obsessed with it. So 
that's that. Those are all the things I picked up from Madewell. I want to quickly show off the two items I got from Cezanne from their fall collection. Um, Cezanne is like my favorite store, but it is super pricey, so I always treat myself to like one or two items per season. Those pieces tend to be like my most worn pieces of the season, so I always know investing in them is worthwhile. And the cuts and styles, um, they bring back every single year, so they're not super trendy, which is great. Uh, the first thing I got was this sweater. It's this light blue and cream um, checkered sweater. I just love this so much. They actually released this in August and I was just like staring at it for months because I wasn't going to buy it until it started to cool down. But yeah, I just really clearly love check. <laughs> clearly. Um, but I just thought this was a really lovely soft color that could also work really well for the spring and the late winter as well, kind of when you want to bring color in your wardrobe even when it's still cold outside. So this is also 100% wool, so high quality will keep me warm in the colder months and will also um, stay in shape and not, you know, pill over time. And the very last thing I picked up in this haul is this guy here, another sweater to jacket situation. This is also 100% wool and buttons up. So I got this to wear as a jacket, so with like t-shirts and other things underneath, but you can also button this up and just wear it as a sweater. So I thought this was a really versatile piece and something that would really serve me well through fall, through spring, through winter. I also really like the look of buttoned up cardigans just tucked into jeans. I thought this brown was really, really pretty. And I don't know, I really, I'm a huge fan of this. And the big, the buttons are also so nice. Like, I feel like Cezanne has the best buttons. So that's the last thing I picked up. So that is my fall haul portion of this video, but let's jump into the regular favorites part. So I would have to say Clay and I have been watching a lot of movies and television shows, and I have been finding a lot of new music that I've just been loving. But starting with music, I would say I've been listening to the same three albums for months. The first one is still Rit Momney. I cannot stop listening to this album. It's still one of my favorite albums. It's just incredible, such great vibes. I love it so much. I've obviously still been listening to Lover by Taylor Swift a lot. Um, so this definitely carried me through September, still gonna continue to carry me through October, all of those things. Um, Post Malone's new album I've really been liking a lot. Um, also something I just can't stop listening to. Uh, I don't know, I've, Clay and I both really like Post Malone, so that's a fact about me. I actually have two more albums. There's so many album releases in September and late August. Uh, next is Muna's new album. This has been amazing. Love it, love it, love it. Great girl anthems. And I just really like this like dark synth pop situation. I'm just always a big fan. And lastly, Lover by Noah Gunderson. Noah Gunderson has been one of my favorite artists since high school. His albums are always like poignant and beautiful and like heartbreaking. So love his new album, Lover as well. Moving on to TV, for the most part Clay and I have just been watching Downton Abbey. We just finished season two and are now watching season three. I honestly can't think of another TV show we've really been watching aside from Downton Abbey. Obviously a lot of football. On the non-Clay side of watching TV, I have been watching Survivor. I've been watching old seasons of Survivor to prepare for the new seasons of Survivor, particularly season 40. And I've of course been watching the newest season, which is season 39, which is airing right now. I love, I love it so much. It's like the best. And I'm still watching the challenge, of course. Um, and I'm a big fan of this season. It's really interesting. I feel like the past three seasons have kind of been bringing about a new era to the television show. So that's been great. As for movies, Clay and I this month have seen first John Wick 2 and 3, which were just so much fun to watch. I really love this like ultra assassin setting. It kind of has this like almost fantastical whimsical setting to it, plus like Keanu Reeves. I have nothing to say except that I love Keanu Reeves so much. I also made Clay watch Spirited Away for the very first time. He had never seen it before, which is just absolutely mind-boggling. Um, I can't believe that was even the case, but we quickly resolved that. He really, really liked it, so that was really fun and a great experience to watch together. And I honestly think that is everything. I feel like I might be missing a TV show, but nothing can come to mind because Downton Abbey has just been like taking up all of our wonderment and excitement. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys soon with another video soon. Goodbye.